Mike Lindell, uh, the CEO of MyPillow, was speaking about how, (laughs) so weird, he's such a weird person. He was speaking about how he prayed for the Senate candidates in Georgia on the Democratic side, the Democrat option, um, both senators to win in Georgia so that it would be clear that there was voter fraud. Super weird. Um, so a little bit of context, Mike Lindell just recently got his phone seized by the FBI because he has been one of these people going around the country trying to overturn the 2020 election results to this day. And he's made about a bazillion predictions about, hey, before this date, before this date, and he keeps changing it, Trump's going to be back in power. Um, you know, within the next month, Trump's going to be back in power. Before Thanksgiving, Trump's going to be back in power. Crazy. Um, and I honestly think at this point, most of these people are grifters and dishonest. I think Mike Lindell actually just has a lot of mental health issues and is legitimately just delusional about this stuff because I've never seen someone so passionately and in a way that suggests they believe in what they're saying, say these types of things um, and be lying about it. But maybe he's just a grifter too. I don't know. Um, take a look. I was in Georgia on November, I mean on uh January 4th of 2021, and I was down there at that big rally for the two center runoffs, right? And I said, I, all of a sudden I started praying, I go, God, please let them take both of these senators. And you're going, okay, Mike, you did it. No, okay. The reason I say that, I'm a marketer and I'm going, if I was, if I was working for that evil, I would say, give them back one of these senators so they shut up about the election, okay? Had they done that, maybe not you guys, but most of the people in this country would have said, Mike, or you guys, we still have the Senate. We got, we'll get them back in 2022. Okay? Well, I got news for you. There wouldn't have been a 2022. It would have been over if they would have been smart and just give one back. But instead, you all know exactly where you were when they stole them both. Right. And everyone's going, oh, now what are we going to do? Maybe there was election crime. You know, people that were on the fringe are all going, you know, a hundred million people in this country went, now what? You know, yes, we should have listened to all this crime that was coming out, just pouring out. Right? Just gushing out. Um, yeah, no. So the idea that it's easier for these people to believe, Mike Lindell and all the people in the crowd and all these MAGA people, that... Uh, these two senators won after they claimed election fraud in the presidential election and them winning is more proof of election fraud than the fact that maybe Americans just aren't as on board with their movement as I thought. It's really bizarre. And it was funny watching in that Georgia election runoff. If you remember, it was um, right after the presidential election and they were all making these uh, claims of fraud about the 2020 presidential. And so a big reason why people believe the two Democratic senators won in Georgia, which is pretty unlikely, is because so much of the MAGA movement thought, ah, there's no point in voting because these elections are getting stolen. Again, not true. That wasn't the case in the presidential and it wasn't the case in the senatorial race in Georgia. But because they believed that, because in the very moment that, that that election was going on, people like Mike Lindell and Trump and all these people were casting doubt on the Georgia election um, uh, that went in the direction of Joe Biden, people weren't as motivated. They were scared that, okay, well, if I go vote, there's no point because it's going to get stolen anyways. And I remember watching that go down. This was right before I started my own show and just thinking and what I would have said on the show is this inability that they have to get off the lie that the election stolen is going to hurt them so bad in this runoff. And it did end up doing that. And that's so uh, wild. It was such an interesting moment to see. And so Mike Lindell, as detached from reality as he is, was sitting there (laughs) hoping that the, the Democrat would win so that people would understand that the election was stolen, that the 2020 presidential and the uh, runoff, runoff of the senators was stolen. No, 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 no. That should be a sign to you that, hey, Mike, even after all these claims were made and presumably all these people were now watching the one Senate runoff, all these eyeballs, likely it just means that people aren't on board with your junk, okay? They aren't on board with the MAGA movement. Apologies, but that's the case. 
and uh, it is easier. They they believe that no, Biden didn't really get 81 million votes. All the millions he got more than Trump, even though obviously in the electoral college it came down to just a few thousand uh, in select states. But it's all fake. It's all made up. And actually, Trump won. That's more simple for them to believe than just hey, maybe the election process worked as was shown out in court cases, as was shown out in every um, recount. And you're just not as popular as you thought you are, or your movement isn't as popular, or your guy, Donald Trump, isn't as popular. So very wild stuff. Every time I watch him, I will laugh because he's saying crazy stuff, but I'll also get a little bit sad because he does seem just genuinely um, mentally not there completely.